Well, we have the Dago Martin 10K and it is scheduled to take place on Easter Sunday. And guess what? The event organizer is here to tell us all about it, Fuad Abu Bakr. Welcome. Hi, thank you very much. So let's get uh, up to speed with this. Yeah, I like that word, up to, up to speed, the <laughs> phrase, because it's a, it's a, a 10K um, that we have annually. Um, it takes place in Dago Martin and that's why we have um, coined it Run Dago Martin. Run Dago Martin, oh, okay. Yeah, um, this is our sixth year. Uh, it, it is one of the premier races actually on the calendar of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, all the professional runners in Trinidad and Tobago know about it and look forward to it every Easter Sunday. We, we keep that date um, specially for this run. Yes. Um, and we have solidified our position on that Easter Sunday as the top race in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, we've had a lot of international and also, well, Caribbean athletes participating in the run as well. We've had a champion from Cuba. We've had two um, Martinican sisters who are very strong in the Caribbean field come and win the races as well. And of course, the best of Trinidad and Tobago, the Tony Nero's, the Richard Jones, the um, everybody, Curtis Cox, the, the, everybody who is everybody in running in Trinidad and Tobago across that distance, male and female, come out to this race and um, show their stuff. Wow, it sounds, it sounds huge. You've been the event organizer over the years? Yes, I am um, the treasurer for Western Stars Philharmonic Steel Orchestra. Mm -hmm. It is a steel band based in the Dago Martin region. And we are always um, looking to take part in social um, activities that can assist the community, that can promote health and well-being. And we came up with this um, concept to have a race slash walk as well. So don't shy okay, away. Okay, good, good. Yeah, so yeah. I was wondering. <laughs> I'm advising you offset. <laughs> but it's not just a race. Um, mm -hmm. 10K is a bit of a distance. but. It's manageable if you, you run walk as well. Okay. Um, extremely um, good for your health, etc. <laughs> I hope that sells it to some <laughs> of the, yes. the, the amateur runners. But um, yeah, we, we're trying to get the participation as well from n not just the professional running okay. fraternity, which is growing in Trinidad and Tobago, but also um, just the wider population. Everyone. The community in Dago Martin as well. Mm -hmm. We want to use it as an opportunity for young people to come together and take part in sporting activity, um, engage with each, each other in a positive environment. So that is the whole concept around the race. And like I said, we're six years and we're going strong. Now, you know, you mentioned the purpose here being young people coming together to engage in social activity. How important is this, especially now at a time where every story, every headline is a murder? Um, yeah, well, unfortunately, a lot of times we focus on the negatives in society. And I'm not saying that there aren't a lot of negatives, but even listening to your program this morning, there are other activities that are taking place in Trinidad and Tobago that are positive, um, camps and other things, yes. etc., that can have a real positive effect. And the lives of um, individuals are, are being bettered by these um, activities by these programs, etc. And that is the aim of Run Dego Martin. It is extremely essential now because, as you said, things are a bit more difficult than they have been in the past. Um, and that's why we, we stay committed. We have had a bit of a reduced um, sponsorship from the private sector that normally supports us. Um, I have to take the opportunity, of course, to say Thank you to all the media stations, including yours, for helping us to promote the race. Um, to our main sponsors, to Optometrist Today, to Extra Foods, to Nestle, to SM Jalil, to even the local businesses in Dago Martin, who have come out and given whatever little they can to help the race go forward. You know, they, they really make the race what it is as well, apart from the participants. And we are different because we're able to provide um, breakfast on the morning, steel band entertainment, um, prizes across a very wide section. So it's not just like the top three runners 
get prizes, etc., um, a trophy or anything like that. We don't do that. We have really nice cash prizes for the runners. And we also have hampers that we give to as many of the participants as possible. You know, so it, it gives them a sense of appreciation. Um, running, especially across that distance, is not as appreciated in Trinidad and Tobago, and maybe even in the world, as shorter distances mm -hmm. where we would, would know the Richard Thompsons, the et cetera, et cetera, you know? But we have top athletes in that sphere who are representing Trinidad and Tobago. Let's talk a little bit about the time that the race starts and the route. Yeah. When is it? What time? So, and what's your route? So early morning. You, you have no problem with early mornings. <laughs> you because would think so, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're out here on set pretty <laughs> early. Um, we, we start at 6.30. We ask people to come in early. We register on the morning very quickly. So 6 a.m. Um, for the professional athletes, that is easy for them. Some of them beg for it to be a little earlier to stay out of the sun. sun yes. But we, we try to balance it off for the amateurs and the um, community. The hoodists and, and yeah. other people. Hoodists so, is upstairs, the director. Yeah. <laughs> so so we, we kick off, we run at 6.30, so get there early. Um, we start at TT Post in Diego Martin. Mm -hmm. um, that is on the Diego Martin main road. Right. And it is basically a run around Diego Martin. Um, we have the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, the Ambulance Service, and Trinidad and Tobago Road Runners, and other running clubs, Richard Jones Running Club, um, who assist us with the timing of the race and also the, um, the coordination of the race uh, along the route, etc. So. It is a well-organized run. Um, it is an enjoyable run, um, almost as enjoyable as the, as the presentations after we always <laughs> have extra prizes to try to um, make everybody feel as yes. though they have won. And once you participate in a sporting activity, you get that, that um, socialization, you get that exercise. Even if you walk run, mm -hmm. even if you finish... Um, Last? <laughs> <laughs> Last doesn't matter. Even if you finish two hours later, you know, it's gonna it's gonna benefit you as well. So very we, generous. We encourage we encourage people to to come out. And the turnout of the years, they have it, it has been pretty encouraging, you would see. Yes, yeah. It has been encouraging. Um, apart from getting the top runners across Trinidad and the Caribbean, we have had a constant um flow between a hundred um runners participants sometimes we don't um we, we don't keep check of all the later comers the walkers etc because some of the focus is on the actual yes. competitive race yes but we've had good participation and we're working towards this year um boosting that and mm -hmm. getting more participation in the community there are a number of feet these groups within the Diego Martin region um some churches and other groups um, even community groups who have partnered with us this year to bring out their young ones. Um, we're having a bit of a shortened distance for the kids alone, oh, right? What age is that? <laughs> um, you might just cross over <laughs> that age. <laughs> so, so we have we have a sh bit of a shortened distance for them because I mean, if if there are some who run the entire distance, huh? but I know it might be a little difficult for some of of the others. So we, we've created a shorter distance for the kids as well, because we expect a lot of younger people as mm -hmm. well to come out. Um, and they will be entertained as well yeah. within the entire um, event. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's the spirit we're building. On a serious note, though, how successful has this event been in achieving that goal of encouraging social uh, camaraderie and togetherness in the community? Um, the, the, the difficult thing with social works and interventions is that it's hard to measure okay. sometimes. You can't actually tell how many lives you have saved. You can't actually tell how many um, connections you have created between people yes. that has um, prevented those same individuals from having um, issues or tensions or whatever, conflict right. thereafter. Um, but for sure, for sure, it does um, help. And in a time where more and more people socialize with each other less, 
take part in activities, physical activities, less. Um, it is extremely essential. We live in a, a generation where two people sit next to each other and they message yes. each, <laughs> each other, um, where you know people are going online to play games and movies by themselves instead of getting out in sporting activities and even just talking to someone else, even rubbing shoulders, even running next to each other. And there is a real benefit from, from these things as well. Great. So, yeah. well, such a pleasure chatting with you. And very quickly, a number that we can call to get further information. Yes, yeah, sure. We, you can check the Facebook page, um, which is extremely active now, um, Rendezvous Martin. And also, okay. you can use 687-3823. Great. Thank you so much.